Greetings, mercenary. Right, I'm leaving. Vulcan, for fuck's sake, what did you do to Aeolas? I never laid a finger on him, Captain. But if you want my opinion, I think he screwed us over. So you had to kill him? That was our fucking employer. Could you not take two God's damn seconds to think about that? I didn't kill him. It was this woman, Edwin. She killed him. That's what they told me. That doesn't change the fact that that dish rag of a scribe was our client. And your job was to protect him. If he was trying to fuck us over, it's up to me to deal with that. And for a starter, where did this weed tart that's spilling out of her dress come from? She was his prisoner in the swamp. Looks like he was trying to get information out of her, which she obviously didn't give him, considering she's still alive. All right, then. Maybe she can be of use to us. I already spoke with Aelas's assistant. Seems he pulled the wool over their eyes as much as he did ours. They're petrified. So they've agreed to honor their contract with us. I need you to get this Edwin woman to talk. I want to know where she's from, who she is, who she works for, all of it. Watch out for the Red Scribes. You don't want to get fooled twice. Understood, Captain. I'll check it out. If you can find Hawk, tell him to get his arse back here. I sent him out on a recon mission and he still hasn't come back. You think something happened to him? Well, there aren't any decent whorehouses around here, so yes, something may well have happened to him. I'll find him, sir. Captain, have you had any news about Hawk? Are you trying to be funny? I sent you to find him. Is that demon of yours eating away your tiny brain, or what? You wanted the Freeborn Blades to help the villagers. Is that... As long as we have to... Have you heard about these villagers who were acting strange? Yes, I've had reports about them. The whole thing stinks, if you ask me. Take that one over there, for example. The one giving me the fish eye. If we weren't stuck in this place go over there and put his lights out. I've asked Buffalo to keep an eye on them. If they start getting squadly. He'll give us a heads up. Captain, I wanted to ask... Do you really think we should be trusting these Red Scribes? I've never really trusted that Aeolas fellow. I could sense he was hiding a knife behind his back. Looks like I was right. But that changes nothing. We still work for them. I'm leaving. Have you decided what you're going to do with me? I'm working on it. Meanwhile, I remain a prisoner. You are free to do what you want as long as you stay in the village or with me. But if you cross the line, I'm the one who will straighten you out. So one false move and I blow you up. It's painful. Are we clear? Yes, very clear. And perfect timing as well. It just so happens that I have absolutely no intention of disturbing this delicious village in any way. A place whose tragic end now seems ordained, and over whose corpse the Red Scribes and Freeborn Blades will scrabble in the bleeding mud. A spectacle which promises to be unique, and one I would dream of missing for the world. Well, enjoy the show. But if I ever need your help, I want to be able to count on it. Hmm, very well. You may consider that we have an arrangement. I would like to ask you a few questions. Alas called you a sorceress. Well, are you one? A sorceress? Only a rube or an imbecile would call someone a sorceress. 
If Aeolus had even a minimum of intelligence and discernment, he would have chosen another term. I do a bit of magic, it's true, but that makes me a magician. Nonetheless, my abilities could never rival those of a Lord of the Frozen Shadows, even if I am far more powerful than any Red Scribe will ever be. So this demon inside me, what is it? I can't say for sure. I've only rarely ever seen something so interesting. But all the same, I am certain of one thing. Your host is directly linked to the World Heart. To the World Heart? It's a simple question of logic. The ritual performed by the scribes had to make contact with the World Heart somehow. Your affinity for flames is a crucial clue. Okay, but what's my role in all this? For now, you are the vehicle. You'll have to decide if you're going to use its power, or just be a simple vessel. Can we win this war? You already know the answer. What was the last battle the Deadwalker army lost? I... I never heard of them losing a battle. In fact, the last time was 12 years ago. In those days, Vertiol didn't even know the Lords of the Frozen Shadows existed, or that they were at war. This all took place in a kingdom in the Northeast. I don't recall the name, but their victory was destined to be short-lived. A few days after having stopped the Deadwalker army, the kingdom was razed to the ground by an even greater offensive. But then it is possible to win a battle. You haven't understood. Whatever the result of a battle, the Deadwalker army feeds. Whether they win or lose, they always prevail. All the bodies that fall are eventually integrated into their ranks. It's a war of attrition. If it were only military victory they sought, yes. But don't forget, they are crafty and intelligent. They can defeat you long before you are overwhelmed by a ruse or by magic. Sounds promising. What do you think about our investigation? They are undoubtedly possessed by some creature, one that is hiding not far away from here. We should go and speak with that model of military rigor, the head of the guards. Thanks. Understand what I'm saying. Hmm. Good day. Are you related to this man? You might say that. Miliev is my husband. I'm called Nigella. Well, uh, uh, do you know what's wrong with him? Have you noticed anything strange about him lately? Well, of course I noticed. He's the one who's a vegetable, not me. Still, I must admit, it's been nice and peaceful. How long ago did he change? About three days ago. He went out hunting in the swamps. But when he came back empty-handed, he had that faraway look in his eyes. Do you have any idea where he goes off to? No. I've got no idea. Knock down the tavern, and that's the main thing. It doesn't bother you at all? Let's be honest. Considering the sort of women, what are still available in the village, and what a rubbish lover he is, I doubt he's got a mistress. And he's hardly gonna find any gorgeous sluts wandering around the swamps. You might be surprised. You're too kind. I can't decide whether I'm flattered or vaguely insulted. Don't change a thing. You're perfect. 
So true. Thanks for noticing. Sorry to have bothered you. I'll go. Look at this! My favorite fucking troublemaker! According to the steward, some of the villagers have been acting strange. Do you have any suggestions? Hey, I'm not a bloody oracle. Bring me some clues, some concrete, anything, and then I can help you. Okay, I'll come back when I know more. About those sentry guards. A barfly like you probably knows a lot about the people here, I'm guessing, huh? Flattery will get you everywhere. I'm going. Captain tells me you're keeping an eye on the villagers that are acting weird. Yes. Look at them. You see that couple? Take a good look at the husband. I've seen livelier zombies. It's like he was dead inside. And they aren't the only ones. There must be at least half a dozen of them. But what bothers me is that if you look closely, you can see they're checking everything out. But what's wrong with them? No idea. They look like they're turning into dead walkers. But the odd thing is how they're spread out. You see how they're placed? They can check out most of the village from where they are. I'm almost certain they're scouting the place out for someone. Since you seem interested, you should go and talk to them. Look, I've marked out their positions on the map. See you later. Anybody in there? Hmm. Would you mind if we talk some more about what happened to your husband? Well, there's not much more I can tell you. In what way, Peaceful? Is he normally an active guy? Active? You must be joking. But it's the first time in years I don't have to listen to him whinging and complaining all day long. And I don't know which of the gods I have to thank, but he don't snore no more, neither. You mean he sleeps soundly? Well, he sleeps less, if that's what you mean. I've even caught him sneaking out in the middle of the night, but he always comes back after a few hours. Do you have any idea where he goes off to? No, I've got no idea. Not down the tavern, and that's the main thing. It doesn't bother you at all? Let's be honest. Considering the sort of women what are still available, and he's already... You might be surprised. You're too kind. Don't change a thing. So true. Sorry to have bothered you. I'll go. We now know that our strange patients are going out at night, so let's find out where they're going. Greetings. Uh, so how is everything going for you? Hmm. 
This is going well. Do you know this woman? Of course I know her. Her name's Agatha, and she's my wife these past eight years. Even if the old cow treats me like she doesn't know me. What happened to her? Ask her yourself. She don't talk to me no more. I know we had our ups and downs, but still. How long has she been like this? It come over her like a dose of the shits a couple of days ago. See, she, she goes off with, with Jervis and the others to go and collect berries in the swamp, and when they comes back, not one of them will talk to me. Where exactly did they go? What? How the fuck should I know? Uh, you'll pardon me, but gathering berries is women's work. But at any rate, they never go far. Otherwise, they never come back at all. So she didn't go alone? Jervis is one of Mason's men, isn't he? Yeah, that's him. There were five or six of them. Why don't you go and ask Jervis? He should be over by the barracks. He'll have a better chance he'll talk to you if you don't mention me. Is there anything else strange about her, apart from the not talking? Well, she ain't much between the thighs, if that's what you mean. She don't say or do nothing. Just sort of lets me get on with it. She don't even pretend to notice what we're doing. Men. Give them a piece of meat, and they're just a couple of minutes away from satisfaction and sleep. Yeah, sure, but not every man is like that. True. Some are more discerning. Others show the meat a little more respect. I was only trying to give her a nice moment to patch things up between us, sort of. Uh, that's not really what I was asking about, to be honest. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, hang on, there might be something else. I woke up this night, and she weren't there. I must have dozed a half hour before I'd gone back to sleep, but she never come back. I never saw her again until sunrise. And I imagine you have no idea where she could have gone? None. And she wouldn't say nothing to me, like usual. I hope that bitch ain't off seeing another man. That's all I need. I can't imagine why she would want to do that. You seem like the perfect husband. I'll be leaving now. I think we'd better go back and talk to that drunken sot who pretends to be chief of the guard. We need to find out where that expedition is going. Look at this! My favorite fucking troublemaker! About those villagers who've been acting weird. I found out that they disappear during the night. And is that it? I imagine you'll have to follow them to find out what they do with their evenings and where they spend them. Your man Jervis, he seems even more out of it than the rest of your troops. Oh, him? Yeah, last couple of days he's gone completely stupid. Shit. He's got it too. He's gonna go all gaga like those other weirdos. The fact that he led all the other weirdos on an expedition didn't surprise you any? Where'd they go? Well, now you mention it, yeah, obviously. It makes sense. They went off toward the southeast, if I remember right. Worthless wine song. Right. I'll check it out. I'm going. Look at this! My favorite! About those villagers... Do you have any suggestions? We have to find out what the fuck they get up to at night. 
a bit of luck, we'll understand what's going on in the southeast. It'd be better if we start this evening. Wait till night falls. Hey, you, don't doze off. It's time to go out for a stroll. No surprises there. Close one. This whole business stinks. If we can't tell the difference between one of these creatures and the villagers, we're totally fucked. It seemed like they were coming back from the southeast swamps. Maybe something down there is causing all this shit. Whatever power be the origin of these possessions, it be ours. I'll check it out. Mm -hmm. We go east, then. I'm not happy about any of this. More and more, I am sensing the Ice Lords behind all of this. You should speak about it with your captain. Captain, we're under attack. The Deadwalkers are headed this way. We have to be ready for them. Are you serious, Vulcan? As a heart attack, Cap. You remember those strange guys? They were possessed by a Deadwalker creature. It was able to use them to find out everything there is to know about this place, and send back the information to their leaders. Delightful. That's all I needed. Right. You go and sort out the spies. I'll handle setting up defenses for this rat hole. Got it, Captain.
I came across this enormous creature. It's an absolute monster. You've never seen anything like it. Oh, I'd love to catch it. It would make one hell of a trophy, but I'm not sure I can take it down alone. You feel like lending me a hand? You know the captain's looking for you? Fuck the captain. Oh, come on, he can wait. The beastie out there can't. It could lose itself in the mist at any moment, and we'd never find it. Okay, then. Considering how excited you are, I'm kind of curious to see the thing. Come on, let's go. Ah, yes! I owe you one, brother. Come on! Tell the captain not to worry about me.